this is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this tiny planet effect using GIMP and if you'd like to update GIMP with this new interface and updated icons I'll have a link to that information in the description of the video and I will also have a link to all three of the images I'll be using in this tutorial in the description section of the video as well so go ahead and download those images and open them up individually with GIMP and we'll be good to get started so the first thing we're going to do is in GIMP is we're going to open up the city image and once we have that open, I'm going to right click on the layer and I'm going to click on uh, add alpha channel. And what I'll do next is I'll go to filters, distort, and I'll choose polar coordinates. And this is what we're going to use to wrap that image into a circle like you see here. But we, we want to make sure we have the uh, settings set as I have it here on my screen, which is with circle depth and percent, we have that set to 100, offset angle is set to zero map backwards and map from top are both unchecked and then two polar is checked so go ahead and click ok and what you'll notice is this is going to take that image and wrap it into a circle like that and what we want to do now is fill in the uh the outside area of the image to fill in the rest of the sky there so to do that i want to i want to grab the dropper tool uh the shortcut is uh keyboard shortcut is the letter o and I just want to click on a segment of the outside edge of this wrapped image right here just to grab a little sample of what that color is. And then I'll click on the button over here that says uh, create a new layer and add it to the image. And we want to choose a foreground color from the layer fill type and go ahead and click OK. And what I'll do is I'll take this image and just click and drag that down beneath the uh, skyline image there. And what we'll do next is we'll grab the eraser tool. And I'm going to use the softest brush over here, which is 2 hardness, 0, 2, 5. It's this one right here. I'm going to bring the size of this up pretty big, maybe like 719. And then I'm going to click on the image of the uh, skyline and just go ahead and just brush away the edges so it kind of fades in with that blue background we just created. Just go ahead and brush that in like that. And that looks pretty good. If you notice here, there's a little bit of a seam going down the center here where the uh, the image ends wrapped together. So to fix that, I'm going to go to the smudge tool and I'm going to bring the size of this brush down like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and maybe I'll make that a little bigger. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just fade that in by, you know, gently touching up the edges of it like that. I'll make that brush a little smaller. I'm going to zoom in by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. I'll make that brush a little smaller. Just go ahead and blend that in so it's not so abrupt. And that, you know, I guess that could be better. I guess if you want to put some time into, uh, you know, making that look right, you can go ahead and do that. But for this tutorial, I'll just leave that as it is right there. I think that's good enough. And the next thing we want to do is grab our grass image, which we're going to use for the center part of the uh, planet here. So to do that, just go ahead and open up the grass image I have linked there. And again, we're going to right click on that image and go to add alpha channel. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll go to filters, distort, polar coordinates. Go ahead and click OK. Same settings as we previously used. And it's going to wrap that into a circle. And then we'll go to edit, copy, and we'll go back to our planet image. You go to edit, paste as, new layer. And with that new layer, I'm going to take the opacity of that and bring that down really low, almost to the point where you can't see it, 6.4%. I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm just going to click and drag this off to the left just so it's out of the way of the image here. And what I'll do now is I'll grab the scale tool and I'll click on the image and over here where it says image opacity, I'm going to change that to like uh, maybe 50%, maybe about halfway. And I'm going to grab the image by the center node right here and just click and drag it over here to the center of the image to put it there. And the reason I brought the opacity of that down is because I want to be able to see the planet image beneath it so I know how small to shrink this down. And once we've done that, I'm just going to click and drag this bottom right corner node right here and then I'll hold control to lock the proportions. And I'm going to grab this little circle right here and just put it towards the center of the image and just adjust the uh, image so that it fits over there. I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit. We want to make sure that this image covers the entire center area here, even these little trees that are sticking out. We want it to cover that as well. So put that over there. If you have to make it a little bigger even, maybe like that. And that looks pretty good right there. I'll go ahead and I'll hit enter on the keyboard to finalize that. I'll bring up the opacity all the way up to 100%. Let me zoom out by holding control and rolling down the mouse wheel. 
and that looks pretty good. Let me zoom back in a little bit. Uh, the next thing I want to do is soften up these edges here. So I'm going to grab the eraser tool and I'm going to grab this brush over here. It's a uh, cell zero one. Actually, no, I'm going to use cell zero two. It should be a default brush in GIMP. Everybody should have it. So uh, I'm going to increase the size of this actually maybe like that. And I'm just going to very, very gently just remove, just soften up the uh, edges of this circle. So it kind of looks like it's naturally blending in with the rest of the image like that. And just go, go around the entire circle and do that. And I'd say that's pretty good right about there. I'm just going to zoom back out to see how that looks. All right, it's coming along good. And what I want to do now is let me click on the skyline image. I want to uh, alter these colors a little bit just to make this look a little more surreal. I'm just going to go to colors and curves. You could almost give it kind of like a cartoonish look. And that went over to my other monitor. Let me grab that. Here we go. And let me take this line down here and just bring that up a little bit. And I'll take this one and bring this down a little bit. Or maybe I'll do the opposite. You might have to play around with it a little bit and see how it gets, it, see how to get a good look out of it. Um, I like that right there. That looks pretty good. If I toggle off the preview, you can see how it previously looked versus how it does now. And it just has more of like a surreal, cartoonish kind of look. I kind of like how that looks right there. I'll go ahead and click OK to finalize that. And I'll do the same thing to the clipboard image up here of the grass to make that blend in as well. So we'll go to Colors, Curves, and I'll grab this menu here and just maybe I'll bring that up a little bit. I'll bring this down. Maybe I'll bring that up there and down here. And toggle off the preview to see how that looks. And you can just eyeball this and just try to, you know, make it look how you think looks good. Go ahead and click OK. And the final step would be to add in the image of the cow. So I'm going to go back to this uh, the cow image over here. And I'll go to Edit, Copy. Go back to our image that we were working with over here. I'm going to Edit, Paste As, New Layer. And I'll grab the Move tool and put this... Oops, grabbed the wrong thing. I'll put this over here. I'm going to bring the opacity of that down again. And I'll go to the scaling tool and click on that. And just hold control and scale that down. Let me zoom in so we can get a better look. You might, you might want to bring the opacity of this up a little bit so you can see it better. I'll scale that down some more like that. And then we can go ahead and click enter to finalize that and bring the opacity all the way up. Let me zoom out a little bit. After you change the color, you change the color curves of the skyline image, you might want to change the background to update that. So let's click on the skyline image and I'm going to grab the dropper tool and I'm going to click on like, like a shade out here like that just to change the foreground color to that. And then I'll click on the layer, the, uh, the background layer with that blue square right there. I'm going to edit, fill with foreground color and see if that matches a little better. Uh, actually, you know what? I think it looks better as it did before, but I'm just going to leave that as it is. You can go ahead and play around with that and make it look however you think uh, looks best. So that's pretty much how you can create that effect using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.